and that secret treaty of Verona is a treaty that is still funded and well funded and it the treaty was an agreement made between Russia, Prussia, France and Austria to defeat and overthrow any and every democratically elected government. And that even included anywhere around the world. They were talking about Europe, but they also said, and anywhere else around the world, where it's not happening now, but it may happen in the future. They were of particular <coughs> concern regarding the American colonies. Yes. And that's what the secret treaty of uh, Verona was about. And um, President Lincoln knew he would be assassinated. He knew the Jesuits would assassinate him. In fact, the founding fathers came to America to get away from the Jesuits. And from the arrival until Lincoln was assassinated, they struggled, in fact, until until right now, to get rid of the Jesuits, to moderate and mitigate them. And what the Jesuits wanted to do was destroy the Constitution. They did not want people to have free will, to have elections, to have freedom of thought, freedom of religion. And they hate Christians, and they hate Protestants even more. And their goal is to completely destroy this country, strip it of wealth. If you look at the Ukraine, they're just a few steps ahead of us. They've completely looted that country and destroyed it, and they're not going to stop there. They're going to go on to all those Eastern European countries that surround Russia because Russia is their real target. And today, we must support Putin. We must follow his moves, his politics, his strategy, his ethics. And he is the only hope right now because he has stood up to the oligarchs. He has stood up to the uh, forces driving this nightmare uh, across the world that created the Fukushima disaster and many other disasters especially the poisoning disasters, GMO, nuclear, vaccines, fracking, all of that. They're behind all of those. They destroyed our education system. They've destroyed Congress. Obama is even Jesuit trained. Are you surprised? You have a wonderful quote on your website. It says, we are living history. Mankind as we know it is being transformed with a very dangerous technology and with an unknown outcome. We want to leave behind a clear and accurate record of what transpired for those who follow. That is our mission statement. That is. And I, yours too. I really enjoyed our conversation today. And I want to thank you both for helping put this together. And, Loren, your website is info. Yes. You can find my website at Climate Viewer News under Radchick. Thank you both very much for being here today. Thank Christina, you, Christina. It's been a pleasure. More than a pleasure. Thank you for all of the hard and courageous work you've done and the perseverance through all the difficulties. People who are change makers, people who are truth tellers, people with integrity, people who show us how to walk through it are what is needed now. And I hope this interview inspires the listeners and people who never thought they could do anything or make a difference will be inspired to begin to bring change to this world. Thank you so much, Christina. Thanks again, everyone, and stay safe. We will continue to follow this story. Please watch our website for updates.
Eastern Airlines serves 26 of our 50 United States. But today, we look beyond assigned flight patterns, and we see the miracle that is America. Her names are written on the land, and the peoples who wrote them are diverse as the land itself. Polynesian mariners landed on the shores of this island from their outrigger canoes and called it Hawaii. The Spanish found this stretch of coastline lovely and named it the jewel, La Jolla. An Indian tribe cut this name with the flint tip of a feathered shaft, Mojave. In the shadows of the Rockies, our conscience named a settlement Fair Play. Scandinavian mythology swept a plateau that rims the Grand Canyon and called it Valhalla. The French embraced the Mississippi with a parish and they called it Baton Rouge. Killing this Pennsylvania farmland, German settlers named it Heidelberg. The English settled Cape Cod and called the county Barnstable. E pluribus unum one from many. This is the miracle we celebrate today. One nation indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We celebrate not the final achievement, for there is much still to be achieved. We celebrate the promise, the progress, the hope.